we're going to go back to something that I really, really hope you can clear up because this is a, a, a long-standing rumour uh, that has been going on for many, many years. At WrestleMania 9, now this is after the accident, this is when you come back for your uh, like a tag team run with Hulk Hogan, you're at WrestleMania 9, it's Las Vegas. Hulk Hogan turns up with a great big shiner, black eye. Quite a few rumours of how he got that black eye. Do you know for sure what happened? Yeah, he was with me. <laughs> I slapped him. <laughs> no, we uh, we uh, he had wave runners, and I had wave runners, and uh, we were all in boats. You know, we had super boats, thirty-eight footers, what that would do eighty-five miles an hour. We had wave runners that would do 55, 60 miles an hour. <clears throat> I had gotten a couple of Polaris wave runners I'd get I'd gotten they were a little bit smaller they were a, a new a new age when they had a variable thrust control like the jets now have they can control their well that's how my wave runner was it was a 750 triple seven uh, three cylinder so it's a lot of power and, and you can almost launch yourself into the air in this thing it was really rough when I was down. I was down uh, by where Hulk lived, and we were in the air coastal. It was real rough, and the boats when the boats would come through, and just all this water would be flying. Everything I told him, I said, <clears throat> because as big as he is, you know, three hundred pounds, I said these are these are smaller ones. He he had a big wave runner. It was really big. It was like made for three people, so you could really get away with a lot on that. Mine was much smaller, was much narrower, really fast. And I said, I told him, do not stand up on it because you you can't, you won't be able to control. It. So we're out there. The next thing you know, he's standing up and big wave hits him and it actually just throws the wave runner into the air and, and it spins around and the wave runner itself cracked him in the skull here and fractured his eye orbit. So that was actually fractured. He had broken bones there. And uh, the guy said, the doctor said he was lucky, he nearly lost his eye. He was knocked out. We had to drag him out of the water, go to the hospital and stuff. And then, uh, you know, they, they checked him finally. You know, he said, "Yeah, his, his eyes going to be okay. He's going to be okay." <laughs> Looked horrible. He's black and blue. This is only a few days before we get to Las Vegas, and they still had a, a commission there. And the commission guys sees them, and they're like, "Oh no, you can't wrestle." So <laughs> they're going to shut down WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, you can't wrestle. So we had to convince them that we had uh, worked an angle and had the bad guys jump us and we were coming out of the casino and beat them up. And that, that was just fake. It was makeup. And um, somehow they, they backed off and, you know, they, and they let it go. I guess he wound up having to sign a, you know, an extra waiver or two saying, <laughs> sue the boxing commission and, <laughs> Falls dead in the ring or something, but uh, yeah. And then we wound up having, you know, having the match, and I tried to do most of the match, you know, and keep him, you know, <laughs> in the corner as much as possible. But he still did quite a bit, you know, and uh, and then that was at the time that was the last uh, WWF match either one of us had. Oh, on um, quite a while. No, you two were both in the. Well, Hogan was until maybe August or September. Maybe he was doing some European tours at that time as the champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you yeah, know we both went to Japan right after? That. Yes, you did indeed. Right after, yeah, we wrestled the Tokyo Dome. I wrestled uh, uh, Masa Saido. Oh yeah, who was the actual was, who was the booker at that time, and uh, Sa Saido. Um, was a good friend too, and yeah, I, I wrestled him as Brutus Beefcake 
and wearing the yellow mask and, and, and stuff in, in the dome. Before that, I'd only wrestled as Ed Leslie for New Japan Pro Wrestling. The name I was known for years and years and years and years and years was Ed Leslie. And that was finally the first time that everyone called Brutus Beefcake in the, uh, in the Tokyo Dome. We had, geez, 100, we had almost 100,000 people. And, and, uh, that was a decent payday. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Uh, I was just actually going to say, so the long-standing rumor about the black eye, do you know what the long-standing rumor is? No. That macho man Randy Savage, a couple of days ago, punched, or maybe even earlier that day in WrestleMania, punched Hulk Hogan over something to do with Elizabeth because they were getting divorced and Elizabeth was staying with Hogan and Linda at their house in the uh, in the preceding months. That all might have been true except for the punch. Mm. Yeah, it, I doubt Randy could hit him that hard <laughs> to do that, that kind of damage. I, I, I doubt seriously. 